Hello freshmen, my name is Ms. Curran and I'm a member of the guidance department. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about course selection for your sophomore year. Usually the counselors would be presenting in the classroom, but as you know, this is not the usual year. So instead, I have made this video to walk you through the process. This year, for the first time, the program of studies will only be available online. The new format is easy to use and provides you with all the information I'm about to review, but in further detail. There are individual tabs that will direct you to course requirements, including the mastery-based diploma, course descriptions, and program planning. Information is also available regarding dates for adding and dropping a course, as well as important deadlines. Next year, all sophomores must be enrolled in American Literature Level 2 or Honors and PE Health 10. You will be individually selecting your other core requirements in Math, Science, Social Studies, and World Language. When selecting your two Social Studies electives, please review the course level and note that Civics is not open to sophomores. There is a new state requirement for your class, which is a minimum of one year of a world language. If you have not yet enrolled in a language, you may want to consider taking one next year. Additionally, personal finance is now a requirement for all students. You must take it as part of the mastery-based diploma program. Despite being a requirement, personal finance no longer counts as a CTE credit, so keep that in mind when counting your credits. It will be offered to grades 10 through 12, so again, you may want to consider taking it next year. Also, we encourage you to select several electives in either art or CTE, a combination is recommended, and rank order them from your top choice to your last choice. You should have a better chance of getting the electives you select next year. Overall, the course selection process is similar to last year with one new task. You will complete the course selection sheet posted in your, Google's, um, in your counselor's Google Classroom page and have your requests approved by your current teacher. Your teachers will make time during their classes to discuss course selection with you. After discussing your courses with your teachers, you must then have your form reviewed and signed electronically by your parent and then return it to your counselor. I realize some of you are in split sections so that you may not have a particular teacher this trimester, but we are asking you to seek out that teacher to discuss your request. You can do this through email if it's easier. In addition to filling out the course selection sheet, you will also be entering your requests electronically in Infinite Campus. Instructions for this will be forthcoming soon. Also, you must be enrolled in 6.5 credits for the year. So I suggest when you, have added, <clears throat> when you have added all your classes, you count up the number of credits to make sure you have 6.5. If you are unsure about your credit count, please reach out to your counselor. When developing schedules later in the year, your counselor will be checking your number of credits. That is another reason for you to select several electives. In the event that you are short, your counselor will be able to fill your schedule with your chosen electives. Remember, if you have questions or are having any difficulties with the process, you can access your counselor by email or in person any day you're in the building. When course selection has been completed, your counselor will review your course request to make sure that the paper form and the computer entries match. When meeting with your teachers and selecting your courses, you might find that you and the teacher do not agree on the course you would like to take. If this is the case, please indicate that on your course selection sheet. You can still take your desired course, but you must go through the override process. The form for requesting an override is located in your counselor's Google Classroom. The override form must be submitted with your course selection sheet. As far as choosing to override, remember that your teachers are very familiar with the curriculum and you as a learner. Their recommendations are made in your best interest to ensure your success. With a declining enrollment, available courses are not as abundant as in the past, so making changes to your schedule may not be possible. Course selection sheets and override forms are due to your counselor on January 29th. Please remember the counselors are always available to you before, during, and after the course selection process. Thank you for your time and good luck selecting your courses for next year.